and Despain. Is that this heavyweight fight? Yep. Yep. I'm going to keep this short and fucking sweet and simple <laughs> because everybody's slobbing on Despain's knob. All I've heard about this fucking guy is this big fucking Cuban Francis Ngannou clone motherfucker. And don't get me wrong, you know, he's only been in the UFC for this is his second fucking fight. So about to be two fights in the UFC. He's making a lot of noise because he got an 18 second round one knockout on the O'Malley Vera two card at 299 uh, March of this year. But it was against Josh fucking Parisian. Josh Parisian should have been cut fucking five fights ago. He got his ass beat like a fucking wealthy liberal arts student at a fucking pro-Palestine fucking protest on the goddamn campus by the state troopers. He's getting his ass fucking beat all the goddamn time now. He's about to get fucking cut from college and have a felony record and be $300,000 in debt. I don't know what to tell you. Josh Parisian ain't exactly a world beater, so knocking him out in 18 seconds is kind of what I expect. It's kind of the standard. It's not really deviating from that and being some type of accomplishment. And then other than that, I don't really know what to make of his Titan FC fight and his three Fury FC fights. I don't have much to go off of other than people gluck, 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 glucking on the dude. And I mean, I guess I can't really fucking digress. I don't have much to go off of when you're giving them Waldo Cortez Acosta, who just beat the fucking corpse of Andre Olovsky this past January that they rode out by decision, mind you. When you can't knock out Andre Olovsky in fucking 2024, you seriously need to just fucking retire voluntarily at that point because it's so, so goddamn embarrassing. You might as well be the president of the Failures Club along with all the other fucking degenerates in the comments section <laughs> predicting fights after they happened. So what I'm getting at with this is, I mean, what am I supposed Waldo Cortez Acosta beat Lucas Brzezinski, the guy that beat fucking Johnny Walker's big little brother. Like, once again, whoop de fucking do. He lost to Marco Sogeria de Lima. That's pretty fucking concerning. I'm starting to have fucking alarms go off. Uh, beat Chase Sherman. Can you tell how excited I am at the names that Waldo Cortez Acosta's beat? Jared Vanderera? Jared Vanderera, even in the fucking UFC? You tell me. I don't know. Robles to Spain, he's probably – let's see what the fucking money line is because I would be absolutely shocked if it wasn't something absurd like minus 300. I'm being dead fucking – dead ass, as my New Yorkers would say. <laughs> I'd be fucking shocked if it's not plus 500. Let's see because, like I said, there's a whole lot of saliva going around the man's member. So I got it right here. I got him at minus 166. That is fucking shocking. <laughs> uh, get in on this. This is where being so early helps. Go to DraftKings FanDuel, fucking your bookie across the fucking lake that's, you know, got mob ties. Shout out to Drake fucking working for Tony Soprano. Wherever you place your bets, get in the fucking car, do 90 to nothing and go there now before this does turn into a minus 500 or something fucking stupid once more people start choking on the man. Because, yeah. That should be minus 162 for Despain to plus 136 for Waldo Cortez. I don't know what's going on, but take advantage. Take advantage while they're asleep at the wheel, like I like to say, and put it on KOTKO because Despain is clearly the guy that they're building is a superhuman genetic fucking freak from Cuba, just like they did Yol. And I actually like Yol. Yol's good, legend, all that shit, but I just don't think Despain's that guy. I mean, it's heavyweight, anything can happen, all it takes is one punch, blah, 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 all the trite bullshit you hear from everybody else. What I'm getting at, Despain, KO, TKO, hurry up, hurry up. How do you see it? <laughs> Dude, this, I'm getting nervous because we're seeing very, very eye to eye on this one, so we might be screwing the pooch, but uh, the dude's 6'7", so the dude it looks like he could step over the cage, like with his stride. The dude is massive. Uh, 84 inch reach is insane. Also, that's a crazy number. Uh, so he's going to have a six inch reach advantage against another guy, which if anybody's going to beat to Spain, it's going to be some guy that can grapple him and really take it to him. If you're a striker, which is exactly what Cortez is, uh, you're, you're the type of guy who's going to get chinned. You're the type of guy who's going to get knocked out. I I don't see Waldo Cortez Acosta having much of a chance at all. In fact, uh, Robelis de Spain, Olympic and world taekwondo medalist. Like, this dude is not a joke. He's newer to our scene. 
dude's been doing this for a while. Um, they're similar in age. So like you said, at minus 166, I, I'm taking the knockout because I feel I feel pretty confident that that's what's going to happen. If you want to take money line, you can. But, I mean, KO just, God, it feels like free money. Yeah, and once again, definitely take advantage of this before everybody else finds out about this fight while it's kind of getting lost in the sauce while we're so early on it. Take advantage because you're not going to see this get any fucking better than it is now. It's only going to get worse the longer you wait. You better start listening to the Better in Green podcast. You will not regret it. Trust me, trust me, trust me. And hey, I'm Dean Blandino. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Better in Green. All about. Come on, let's make cash now. We always on spot and we cover old spot from the bottom to the top. Hey, shout out to Ethan, shout out to Wyatt, shout out to Ben. Welcome, welcome to our podcast. Better win green.